show you how to configure remote control for the STB monitor. First we need a photo of a remote. Something like this. We need to crop it and straighten it a bit. Save it, new remote one. Now we are ready to edit it and create SVG in Inkscape. We'll just drop the new remote here. See? The canvas is a bit small, so we need to resize page to selection. We need to draw on each button an ellipse or a, a, a rectangle. So for the power button, we need We need to create a circle, circle so the color should be black, the color is black, fill and the opacity 50% is ok. If we need to adjust a bit. The next thing we need to do is to add an attribute in the XML editor. From edit XML editor, add an attribute key and key power. So we'll continue with some of the other buttons. Key one. Again, add an attribute key key one. The attribute should be key key two. make a circle for key K add key key ok so now that we are ready with some of the buttons not all just an example here we can save the document as an SVG. We'll name it new underscore remote remote underscore one. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to export it but see the resolution is a bit the height is 1300 uh, which is a bit too big so we'll make a smaller remote with height of 600 pixels and export it again so now we have the new remote SVG image you see the configure buttons are clearly visible here. The power and 1, 2 and OK. Now we'll open the browser and configure 
the remote. The remote control. We need to enter RX mode, which is advanced configuration for remotes. And in the advanced configuration, we need to create new remotes from advanced configuration infrared codes. Add new. And the name should be the same as the SVG image. Or new remote underscore one. Now we need to press a button very closely to the infrared receiver. Press it a couple of times until you get the successful result. You see here, infrared remote config in initialized successfully. Now we are ready to start recording keys. We need to select a key. Key need power. Record the key. Very closely, about two centimeters. And keep pressing it until it's ready. So key okay. Okay. In it it needs a couple of presses until it's ready. Key one, record the key, press one now. And this procedure should be done for all keys. Record key two. Okay, so now the infrared codes are recorded for these keys. We need to upload the already created SVG image. From advanced configuration, configuration files, we need to choose and upload the SVG image, which is, please note that the name of the SVG image should be the same as the remote name we created a couple of seconds ago. Upload the file. And you see we have two files, one is SVG and the other is with .conf, which is the infrared codes configuration. Now we are ready to configure it, to use it, you see power button, OK, 1 and 2. Let's, let's try to, to see if the remote is working, press 1, you see, it's working. We can power off or press 2. The remote is ready.